Hi, my name is Adelina, and my experiment is on MMPs, Timps, and Activators, and I worked with Matthew, Ishan, and my mentor is Ish Kumar. And so MMPs are matrix and taliprotonase, and they're zinc-dependent endopeptidase, which help break down peptide bonds, and they're capable of degrading extracellular matrix proteins. And there's 23 MMPs found in the human body, but uh, for this experiment, we just focused on MMP1. And MMP1 is a collagenase, which helps break down collagen, and this is useful for skin regeneration as well as wound healing. So the first part of this experiment was we wanted to find the activation site on the enzyme. So we did this by doing molecular docking. And it was shown that with molecular docking that there was an activation site in between the green and the blue chain here, so around there. And then we wanted to, we added Tim to this, which was an inhibitor. And as you can see here with the graph, this is the, the gray line is the control, and then when TIMP was added, you see that there was an in inhibition here. And we wanted to see the, how TIMP affects when the activator is present. So with the yellow line, there's MMP1 and activator here, but when TIMP was added with the activator, it also decreased as well. And this proved to show that there was two configurations present. You have a T configuration as well as an R configuration, and when TIMP was added, the TIMP binds better to the R configuration. And these bar graphs show the same thing as the graphs here. But the second part of the experiment was we wanted to find um, if the activation site actually is like binded there. So with that, we added DTT. And you can, show, you can see here that this is a control. And then when DTT and the activator was present, um, it actually did bind there. So yeah. Thank you.